Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from the foot market. I am here bright and early. I'm actually recording this video before the team of the week comes out today because it is important, but at the same time, I don't think it's that important. Uh, I'm not sure if Ronaldo's going to get in, but I saw a tweet this morning saying Ronaldo's going to get in. So I want to start off this video today kind of taking a look at his price. I haven't even looked at his price on the market yet. Is it up? Wow, he's 3.8. So he might be in. Uh, I've been hearing that he is in. Uh, we'll see if, if that's actually true. 365. All right, he's not that inflated. I don't know how much higher he goes. That's the thing. I think he might go to 4 mil, but I don't think it's worth anyone buying into that at this rate, if you guys know what I'm saying. So, obviously, guys, there was no Lunar New Year yesterday. Uh, if your head's been in the sand, I'm here to tell you that there was not Lunar New Year yesterday. Um, we had some insane, insane uh, flips yesterday. I bought this a lot at 720. I sold it at 950. This I had bought at 450 on, on the video yesterday. I sold it at 490 overnight. This I bought at 50. This I bought at, this is a lazy. I bought this at 185, but this is a lazy. And then Casemiro was just a genuine, uh, a genuine flip as well. So we've got that going on. We've still got our Fantas. And the market has pushed back a little bit. It hasn't gone back up a ton. Um, and here's the reason. Well, here's my main belief. I think the market right now is in a weird place. I think you have some people that are not playing the game because of the patch. I also just think you have some people that are just not really sure what to do. And so that's causing a lot of people to just kind of be in this state of panic. Now, team of the years are really interesting. Neymar hit 5 million yesterday. He's 4.9 right now. Team of the years look like they're up, up and away. Uh, from what I can see, they just look like they're up, up and away. I saw Ramos yesterday sell at 235. Uh, he got all the way up there. He's now like 229. But I saw him, the point is that I saw him sell at that high price, which is really high. Um, I did a lot of stocking of my club yesterday. I kind of bought a lot of different cards. Hazard, I bought at 615. He might be in team of the week today, but I think Iguain's going to be in over him. If he, does, if he is in team of the week, I'll lose a little coins. Cavani's UCL Live, I bought at 239. He's now 265, 250. So I've kind of just got my club with a bunch of things that I like, um, and I'm ready to go with Firmino. We bought at 140. Just stuff like this, man. We kind of just stocked our club and we're ready to go. This Carvajal, you guys know, if you've been watching me, uh, you guys know that I picked up a Carvajal at 75. He's back up to like 90 almost. He got down. He got up to 130. Then his SPC came out. So that was a really good buy. We even bought a future star, Calvert-Lewin, who's actually 100 right now, uh, which is really, really cheap. Is this a bid? Let me see if this one has a bid because that's a pretty good price. Is that fresh too? Um, so we kind of did a little bit of that, guys, recently. We, we stocked our club and we're kind of just ready to go in that regard. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking that Thursday, we're going to get a little bit of a flip, flip potential on the market. I'm going to bid on that. That's, that's a pretty good price. hundred K, um, 90, wow. 97. So this is a really interesting card to me guys, because Calvert Lewin at rewards goes to like 120. So he's a guy that I really like to flip a lot. Uh, I haven't been flipping him recently. This team of the week, I'm staying away from the one you have right now. Headliners, I think. You have an argument, guys, that headliners, I apologize for my browser being fucked up. Uh, headliners, you have an argument, guys, that uh, these are potentially buys before rewards tomorrow, but still, I probably wouldn't go crazy. Um, to me, they're, they're a little bit riskier as they don't appear on the market, as you guys know. Like, these cards do not appear on the market. You have to search these cards, like, specifically out of concepts. Or you have to try to find these cards like very, very specifically on the market. So I don't love these cards at all um, by any means. I don't I don't love these cards. I think you guys can do better. Uh, now they are live and, I, and I'm starting to get weirded out and I'm starting to not understand certain things, right? Like why is Lala's card 330K? Why, why does that make sense? That, does that, that doesn't make sense. Well, I think what's going on with Lala is that that's 100K over his cheapest inform. And I think that a lot of people are assuming that he might be done with informs because he's already had four. So I think people are kind of like, okay, like that one's not great. But then you look at players like Marquinhos, who at 103K look like the, the buy of the century. Um, it's really crazy. Suso at low hundreds I like a lot. A lot of these, these guys should rise up quick out of packs, but they should really rise when their cards get changed to special cards. That's going to be a very big deal, and I know I keep talking about that, but it's a really big deal. Um, I, I I think personally there is a shot that we get Lunar on... on uh, there is a chance, guys, that we get Lunar on uh, Friday. There might be a promo for Lunar New Year this Friday. I don't know, but there's a chance. I, I can't say there's not a chance. Um, now, if we don't get that on Friday and the panic subsides a little bit, because the panic, the panic was for real yesterday. When I was making the video, some of the prices that we picked up cards at were really low. 
Um, this Ericsson even, I got it 440 on bid. You guys saw it. You guys watched me do it. Um, now, rewards flipping has not been great recently. You guys all know that. Rewards flipping has just kind of been dead and, for lack of better words, just not really working. Um, team of the years, though, are flying. And that's that's interesting to watch because team of the years are the, the most meta market. So I don't know if that's an adjustment of people going up to the team of the years. I don't know how that works. But what I'm saying to you guys and what I'm proposing to you guys is that if the team of the year market is stable, then it's more likely that the market in general is pretty stable. Uh, so while the other stuff seems pretty low right now, eventually I do think it's going to bounce back. Uh, it's just all about that bounce back, and it's about when is that bounce back? When are we going to get that uh, period where everyone buys back into things, right? That's that's a big question mark that I think a lot of us are, are wondering and a lot of us are waiting on. When is that bounce back going to be? Uh, when are my investments going to go up? Uh, let's see, right? Like I think if you don't have – you have a good formula, guys, where if you don't have – uh, anything come on Friday. Now, there's probably going to be a promo on Friday. Guys, look, EA's pulling promos out their butt. I, I don't even know where these things are coming from anymore. All I know is I, I go on Friday or I go on Thursday to Ultimate Team and there's some announcement that I'm, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm like starting to get scared because every every time I go on Ultimate Team on, that, on uh, Thursday at the 1 p.m. time, they drop something in the menus that just honestly, for lack of better words, just scares me because you get scared when you see a new promo. It's just how it works. So that is something that is still going on like every single Thursday. So it's going to be interesting for us to see this Thursday, um, does that happen? I, I don't know if that happens this Thursday, but it's going to be interesting to see that. Um, I don't – a lot of people, you guys have been asking me, hey, Nick, is there going to be a timeline on the special cards of when they change those to special cards? I don't know. I don't think there's going to be. I think you guys are going to have to luck out if you guys want those headliners to be specials. I think it's going to be completely random, and I think you're not going to be able to know when that's going to happen. So I'm just giving you guys the heads up with those. I know a lot of you guys are eager to invest. I just don't know when that's going to be. I know a lot of you guys want the answer to that. I don't know when that's going to be. Like, I really wish I worked at EA and had the answers for you guys. I don't. I don't know if it's a tactic of them that they're kind of holding these cards from us. I, I don't know what it is. It's really weird, to be honest. It's weird why these cards are not special cards. That makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to you. Neither of us understand why we can't find headliner cards on the market under special. I don't think any of us understand that at all in the slightest. So is what it is. We're going to try to ride it out. We're going to see if it works at some point. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, info market is low. Market's low in general. Uh, take advantage of it, guys, right? Like you have certainty that people are going to play the game when there's promos and things going on. The market should be at somewhat of a high, not always at a high, but it should be somewhat inflated. Um, and, and use that to your advantage, guys, because realistically, um, this game is far from dead. So if there's a week right now where the market is a little bit lower, you have people selling off because of a lunar. What you have to understand is that you still have rewards before lunar. So you still have the opportunity, guys, um, potentially before Friday to still make some good coins. Like if, you know, it, you have the chance, guys, to still make coins before Friday because the, you know, it's just like, come on, what are you waiting for? So... That's what I'll tell you guys. So I'm starting to pick up some of these cards, man. I'm just stocking my club right now. I got some extra coins together. Um, and I'll tell you this right now, guys. The trading aspect of FIFA right now. Like, if you were to, if you guys are going to go hop on open bid, it is so damn easy. I can't even explain to you guys how easy it is right now. If you are to hop on open bid, oh my gosh, dudes. Like, there's nobody. Nobody's on the market right now. I was on it yesterday. Nobody's trading right now. I was picking up cards for so cheap. It just feels like nobody in the world right now is actually buying cards. Use that to your advantage, guys, right? Like, use that to your advantage. If there's nobody buying cards in the market, at the end of the day, people are still going to buy the cheapest cards. So if you can win cards on bid for, like, ultra cheap, then, then take it to your advantage, guys. You guys know that already. Use that aspect of dead market to your advantage. The market is always the best in terms of a trading market. It's always the best to be bidding on when it's dead. Um, when it's dead, I, I arguably think it's the best because nobody's outbidding you. Right? If you're bidding against nobody, what are you going to do? You're going to get deals. Um, it's very simple. So if you guys have the time, I would try your best, man. Try to grind out some trading in the next few days, man. When, when you have a lower market, it's always a appealing thing to be doing. Um, this Lewandowski's back up to that price. Wow, that's up a lot. Mars 86 is getting killed. That's really low. Busquets, 518K. Busquets is so high, man. I don't know what's going on with Busquets. Lukaku at 145. So, yeah, I mean, look, a lot of these cards are adjusting in price. A lot of these cards are really low, though. Where's he Cardi? I bought a Cardi at 149 yesterday. 
Mbappe's at 730. Hulk's at 118. Immobile 176. So, guys, at the same point, while this is not all all a correlated thing to like lunar or a sell-off, what's going on in a way is that people are people are semi cashing out for a lot of stuff. A lot of people are just kind of semi getting some money for some cards, you know, doing their thing with that stuff. So while that is going on right now, I still think that every week that this happens, because this happens always at a certain point of the year, guys, we have to be realistic. Every every point of the year, there's there's a time where people like to sell some cards and get some coins into their club. There's nothing wrong with that. That that happens every single year. But what still goes on during those weeks, guys, is that you have these kind of trends of like up and down. So you're still going to have these upwards trends at times this week in, in, in terms of a rewards period where the market still goes up a bit. And that's something that happens every time the market's doing this. You're still going to have that period where, yes, Gundawan might be going down 3K per week, but maybe around the rewards window, he goes up 10K, right? Stuff like that. You're always going to have that bounce back because at the end of the day, guys, people are still playing FIFA. So that's still going to result in people buying cards. It's still going to result in people investing in things, right? It's, it's always going to be a thing and it's always going to be a process of FIFA. So that's something that I just want you guys to understand. Uh, as FIFA players and people who play and people who are on this game every day, like there is going to be that bounce back period always. Um, so right now for me, guys, you guys know I made the video yesterday. I'm kind of just sitting with a lot of stuff. I'm listening for lazy buyers. Um, a lot of these UCLs, which were the positional stuff. A lot of it's doing well, man. I got to say the, a lot of it's bounced back up already. Um, the reason why I went so crazy on the EPL left backs and things like that, just so you guys know, uh, was because of the uh, Baines SBC. So the Baines SBC caused a lot of panic um a lot it caused a lot of people to go ahead and just kind of dump out any left back they ever had and i think baines is gone at this point you've got one day left on baines so when this goes away you have no other option as a left back in the premier league and i think what's going to happen is a lot of people are going to find he's not that actually good so they're going to just go buy back robertson mendy all those kind of players so i think that will happen as well uh as a combination with all that uh in general so guys thanks for watching the video today i appreciate all you guys being supporting the channel like crazy uh happy wednesday happy team of the weekday and i'll see you guys in the video soon peace out